Hey Frugivore, so today's video I'm going to show you how to make a super simple headband. You just can wear around anywhere, you can make it any colour you want, you can use any yarn and it's a very simple stitch. It's actually the most basic stitch and if you haven't seen my first video on how to crochet, I go through the absolute basics so watch that one first. But this one is very very basic itself, anyone can do it so I want you to give this a go. It's just an awesome way to make your own stuff, you know. And just a disclaimer, I'm not an expert in any way. You know, I make errors and I don't know, is there, there's a, looks like there's a lump there, but it really isn't. I don't know why it looks like that, but I'm not an expert, but I am, you know, experienced enough to make a headband and you can do this to no problem at all. It just takes a little bit of commitment, a little bit of time and you'll get a great result. So I didn't have anything thicker than eight ply. I would actually like something a little bit heavier so it was quicker to work up. But this one is an eight ply. It's 100% acrylic. It's the first yarn that I ever bought and it is a beautiful color. But if you have a heavier yarn, it will take you less time to make this headband. All right, so we take the yarn, all right? We make a slip knot. A slip knot is very easy to make. You can just have a look at the ones that, the tutorial video that I made. So my fingernails look a little manky there just because the studio lights are like yellow so it's making my fingernails look yellow but anyway they are clean and we're doing a slip knot that's it and i did it in my tutorial if you want to see exactly how to do it it's not hard all right you you will get the hang of it okay so and then the hook goes through the loop like that and you just want to pull this a little bit tighter but not too tight and then you've got that tail at the bottom and then you yarn over so this one so we're pulling this one down there's some tension with the pointer finger here oh, that's some... and then we yarn over pull through and that's one 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 loop one chain two you don't want them to do, be too tight for the foundation chain three four five six you'll get it after a while seven eight nine ten and then you just count the v's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten then do an extra one okay you got that extra one so you don't want to go back into there don't go back into there okay into the closest loop on the hook you want to go into the next one here and then you got two it's not really focusing but you have two loops on the hook there and then you yarn over pull through that first one and then yarn over pull through the two all right so that's where we're up to then you want to go not back into there, not into that back big hole. Okay, you want to go to the next one. And, you, and then you've got that loop, two loops, yarn over, pull through. And then you can kind of like just ruffle it down there. So then you can see exactly what's going on. And then yarn over, pull through. Right. So you don't want to go back in there. You want to go to the next one because you can see it's what we've already gone through there. Yarn over, pull through. And you want to do this all the way to the end. Okay. Just slow it down if you find it too fast or anything, slow it down. See it working up here? And it is important to count how many how many stitches you do single crochets because you might like for a while I just didn't do it and I just kind of went intuitively and you can do that but I did go bigger and smaller like the head I mean things get smaller and bigger and you want that straight edge obviously you don't want a headband that's wavy unless you want that style okay Keep going. Oh, by the way, this hook is a four, 
size four, but that's too small, really. I don't need a four, but I was using my other hook, but it wasn't really working so well. And this one glides a lot better for now. And okay, we're at the last, we're at the last, like, there we go. We only have this one to go through. So we just, we just do it the same. Just the same. Okay, so then we have this. We have some progress. All right. We're going to we're going to change directions here. We're going to flip over. So we want to do one chain. Always do one chain because that's the height of a single crochet. If you don't do that, it's not going to be the right height. So then you just flip. You can pretty much just go either way. It doesn't really matter too much. Just be a bit consistent, I guess, on what direction you take. And then we have to go into the first Basically, the first gap you see, they're not in there, but it's going to be obvious when you pull it apart. See that first one? You can see an obvious hole there. So go in there. Get in there. One, two, three. Okay, you got the three. And then yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both. Right. We are starting. So it's going to keep that straight edge there. Let's go another single crochet in so you got the two two loops here and then one loop there so three loops sorry my nails a little bit dirty from gardening there we go keep going you just keep going to the end keep going to the end find those holes just poke it in the hole easy right poke it in the hole pull it apart and I go through this in the tutorial too pull it apart find the hole find the hole yarn over pull through you will just be flying after a while you will be flying I promise put in the work put in the practice and you can create some beautiful things yarn is just um crocheting is just so amazing like I love it and I haven't done it actually for a while, so I'm a little bit rusty, but I want to get back into it. It does take some time, but the results are amazing. And there we go again. So now we're at the last. All right. We are at the last weird bit. Okay, it's a little bit, it was a little bit dodgy for me to start to learn this, but you just have to get it in there. You want to get it over. You want to get the V over the top. And that can probably be the hardest bit really is the end bit. All right, so we need another chain because we're going to go to the height of a single crochet. So you have to chain one, then turn, turn it. So you're going from this direction. It's over here, holding it here, and then you're holding it over here. Just, then you just keep doing that. You keep going back and forth. So again, go into that first hole, go into that really obvious hole and you always want those two loops over the top. Always want those two loops over the top. Okay, we go again to the next hole, very obvious holes, big holes. So I'm just going to keep doing this. If you're confused about anything that you're seeing, go back, play the video slowly and look again or watch the tutorial, the um, beginner one. Just keep doing this and go all the way to the end. Just do the same as what you did last time. Chain one, flip it over and just repeat. Keep repeating and I'll meet you back in a moment. All right, so several hours later, here we go. We've got this train of single crochets and the edge is good and straight. And that's why I said earlier to use a heavier yarn because it will take you much less time to work it work it up. So now what you want to do is join join your headband together. So you want the you want the ends to line up. All right, and that's another reason why having a straight edge is important and counting your stitches. And then you can just go under there. Alright, you know, you just poke it in and go under 
and then do a single crochet because I don't want to you know use different tools and stuff I, I, I want to just use a crochet hook I don't want to use a needle and stuff I really like to use it because you really don't have to most of the time so go under that those loops uh, under the V and kind of find a gap over there near the top don't worry about being perfect or anything and then do single crochet so you come from this side and you go under there under yeah under whoop I'm looking through the camera so it's hard there you go you got those two loops on there that V and then you go over and get the other ones on the other side yarn over pull through my tension's a little bit tight there but you want it quite tight because you want to seal this baby all right go under again kind of just keep lining it up make sure you're in line and <laughs> this was a little bit of a rush job but it still f turned out fine you know it doesn't have to be perfect it's going to be under your hair most likely anyway and see you can see the stitching coming together there so just continue to line it up get the tail out of the way all right and just continue to do single crochets go underneath there you go underneath those two underneath those two loop it over pull through it becomes very easy it's a very easy fast way to sew without having to get a needle and worry about changing tools and stuff like that just continue on right to the end all right now we are near the end so just make sure those ends line up pretty well as good as possible but it depends if you're wearing it under your hair doesn't matter too much but we want it to be as, as neat as we can and I might be just want one stitch out or something could have been a little bit straighter but as you can see it's, it's pretty seamless pretty seamless so and just I'm, I'm a very intuitive crocheter so I just like do an extra few like stitches here and there and poke things in and <laughs> make it work you know I don't always go by the book and I recommend you just play around too and do that because there's you just can't there's no such thing as doing it wrong if it works out it works out there you go <laughs> it's not bad not bad all right so then we want to you, you want to just um, finish off so you want to cut the crochet yarn you want to cut the yarn and then just pull it through and that's just going to fasten it off so I need to get the scissors all right so you just want to cut that yarn off okay and then you just pull it through like that and that is fastened on there that's not going to come undone and I decided to tie it here tie the ends a bit some people will be like, oh no, you should you should sew them in and stuff like that. But I find that it it holds really well. So I just do a few knots there. Sometimes it's good to do that for tops and stuff like that because you don't want them to come undone. But this one doesn't, you know, I've made headbands before, no problem at all. And you can just like cut off the extra bit. All right, so just cut the tails away and there you have it. Pretty seamless. Worked out good. I could have lined it up maybe a little bit better, but it's really not a big deal. And there you have your headband if you made the headband definitely let us know in the comments below or tag me on instagram i'd love to see your crochet work and i'd love to make more crochet videos but they can be time consuming that's for sure but let us know if you do want more and this is just a very simple one one you can you can work up quick if you have the right yarn if you have a heavier weighted yarn and then you can see the sew job underneath and it's really just very handy keeping that hair out of your eyes or if you're living in a cold area keep those ears warm for me in the tropics it's definitely not important to keep my ears warm but um that's it yeah that is our crochet headband simple stitch comes up beautiful and okay i'm making daily videos on my frugivore diet channel so definitely check those out don't forget to go fruit yourself and i'll see you soon check them out